Welcome, brothers and sisters! Hi, brothers and sisters! My name is O P to the O from State 122, bringing you another Last Shelter video! This is part one of... How the hell am I supposed to know how many parts? This is the first time I'm doing this! But, what I know is, I'm gonna finish this series because when I say something, I do it! So yesterday, I've just started a brand new farm and I'll make a series as I just mentioned a video until it reached level 15 and it is the perfect passive farm here are the number guys just with one farm you're gonna make all those pretty resources in a single week and for fun I just made what would have happened if you had 15 of those well cuz I do now you might say well how can it be perfect? Your video on YouTube are far from perfect and clearly you have low standards. Well, you know what? When it comes to my video, I might have lower standard, but when it's the game, I'm not messing around, so watch out. Before we start, thanks for subscribing, turning on the notification. Also, special shout out to Bazooka from State167 that took the time to share my videos in his state channel as well as his aliens channel online. Bro, you rock! You're totally the opposite of Mac from State122. Let's get started with the real shiznit. The perfect passive farm. When I say passive, I mean a farm that you will have to log on only once every 15 days just in order to keep it on the map because after 15 days they just remove your base of the map uh, as you can see currently on screen with the magic of editing what the base level 1 looks like and how the final product should look like as well I know it's hard to believe guys but this ain't my first farm the goal of this farm is to try to get it to level 15 as fast as possible don't worry too much about saving speed up don't worry about those diamonds just get it done as quick as possible. I personally think if you put like about 30 minutes a day for a week, you should be able to get it to level 15 if you know what you're doing. I might be wrong, but definitely not more than 10 days. So between 5 and 10s, uh, depending how busy and how much love you put in. Now, super important, as you reach level 2, make sure you migrate to the state of your choice. I don't have much to say about this part, just follow the tutorial um, and since I don't want to leave the video like just empty like that with no noise or no music because I'm scared of adding music in my YouTube videos to be honest with what I heard about like the copyright shit so I try not to so what I will do is I'll, I'll beatbox okay so get ready okay sorry I swear I won't do that again Alright guys, we're almost there, almost there, almost to level 4. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Almost to level 4! I did it! Okay, sorry, this was the boring part of the video. Um, I don't know what it had there. Alright, we made it to level 4. Now level 5, it's the last level before 6. Right? 4, 5, 6, fuck, I'm a genius. But uh, basically... It, level 6, your base turned into an official base, if you like, uh, that enemy can attack. Uh, you start getting dailies and all that good stuff that comes. So, uh, bear with me, there's only two levels left, and then we can start the real thing. Something that I think is key to level up a base quickly is to join a good alliance. If you're making a farm, hopefully your main alliance is kicking ass. Joining them is going to give you tons of resources from Clash of Zone. Uh, box it's also gonna help you a lot because people help normally and speed up buildings So make sure that you join a great alliance with your farm um, In order to speed up the process also be sure to um, when you join a new audience to say hi and uh, Make friends like you can see on this video So as soon as you reach a level that you can start tech just do it do it now and don't stop you want to level that tech tree city development and rapid production they are the only two tech trees you care about those give you more resources when you do rapid production and the city development one well it just gives you more resources when you're 
actual base is doing nothing. Um, they're two must have. Early game uh, or early base, I like to put um, some of it in a rapid production because early on you're going to miss a lot of resources, but rapid, rapid production is going to be your friend. And here's a first tips of this video, I think, is when you level up a, a small building or a refinery, as an example, while well, your percentage of rap rapid production resets. So you can use it again. This is the best way of keep getting those resources that are really hard to get early game. Um, also, please, as you have probably noticed, remove all the useless building from the map as they're just there for... Well, they have no use and they're just sucking up your energy and getting suck energy is not fun. That sounded wrong. But you don't want to lose energy for nothing. That that's that's better, uh, and that's basically it, guys. From for the video, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the other one's gonna go more into depth, and there's definitely gonna be tons of tips in there. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully.